Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate, resonate for all of you, but just take it as it does speak to you. Leave the rest. You can be here as a cross watcher. Sometimes the messages come through directly to you. I do have a couple of announcements. So if you don't want to hear them, you can just scroll forward to the reading. But um, two things. One is um, when I did your... 2023 tarot forecast. So that was more predictive looking forward. The uh, the extendeds were um, uh, yes, no spreads for is someone from your past coming back in 2023 or someone new coming back on your coming on your path in 2023. And Scorpio, you got both of those were yes. So I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of what came through astrologically. For someone returning from the past, we have Pisces energy, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo came through four times. So if you're dealing with someone that has Virgo in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or, um, you know, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. If you've got someone with Virgo in their chart and a prominent placement, they could be coming back. That felt so clear to me. I, or you could have Virgo in your chart. Um, the new person, we got Aries, came through twice. Um, all the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aquarius came through two or three times. Um, Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Pisces. So lots of energies came through. And um, even in your morning musing this morning, I also saw the energy of potentially... Um, letting go of something that's kept you trapped in a prison of your own making and taking a chance on someone new. So, um, and if you're dealing with Libra, Libra had the same darn message and almost all the same cards. So you may want to watch the Libra reading I just uploaded. Today's big news for you here, Scorpio, is that Mars is finally retro, uh, turning direct today from his retrograde in Gemini. He's been stuck at eight degrees of Gemini forever. Um, so just so you know that Mars is finally stationed direct. It takes a little hot minute for him to get, get going, but the energy should be opening up. Um, things should be moving along finally. Also, for those of you who have opted in for the all access pass to all the extendeds, um, that I want to just be sure you understand how it works. It's like Netflix. You have an account. You have to go to it to select what you want to watch. I don't send you links. It's all housed on the platform. Um, it's moments, M-O-M-E-N-C-E-C-E.com. And um, when you purchased the all access pass to all the extendeds, first of all, you also get all the morning musings. So every little mini spread I do in the mornings for the signs I'm going to read for later in the day, all those are available to you. They're short, but they're kind of like a peek in the door of what might be to come. Um, you get all of that. And you don't just get it from the day that you join going forward. You get everything I've ever uploaded, just like on Netflix. You can, you know, use the search tool like you would to find anything you want to see. And it's all, I created collections for each sign. It's really super easy to navigate, but here's how you do it. You used an email address when you purchased the all access pass, and hopefully you created a password like it asked you to. Some people don't go back and do that now. Um, once you log in, you're going to click, there's a left hand sidebar. You're going to click. Yeah, there's a left hand sidebar. Um, and you're going to see my memberships. So you just look until you see my memberships, click on that. Then you're going to see active subscriptions, click on that and go to video library, click on that and you have access to everything. So no links or notifications are sent just like Netflix for all my tarot reading extendeds. So if you have any problems, you can email me. All right. Here we go, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Well, you get the death card. This card keeps coming out for you like the number one card. So it is your card if you're here as the Scorpio, number one. Number two, it is about things that have to kind of be released. Things that have died a natural death that have to be parted with. And then it's like the metamorphosis, right? 
the growth, the change, the transformation. And I have been saying to you since I did the 2022 wrap-up readings in early December that there's something very, a very big change coming on your path in um, 2023. So let me just pull these cards. I'll walk you through it and then I'll clarify. Wow. Okay. So past, present, future, past energies, the empress, the fool, the magician. I almost feel with the fool and the magician here together. It, you know, I'm going to clarify, but it kind of feels in a little bit of a way like um, you kind of got played. You took a leap, you took a risk, and it might not have worked out. I see this um, divine feminine energy here in the Empress, all your unconditional love, the highest version of yourself, um, the highest vibrational version of yourself. And um, you probably took a chance and, it, and manifested something that you felt might have some staying power, but it almost feels like there was a disappearing act. Um, Present energy, five of wands came out this morning. So I know you're conflicted about something, page of pentacles, but there could be this new beginning, this fresh energy. There's something that you have to learn here and you may be resistant to it, but it's the time is now. The wheel of fortune um, is that beautiful. And the wheel and Jupiter, this is a card of Jupiter is now in Aries. So again, forward motion, Mars turns around, goes direct, forward motion. So I do feel like it's time to take the first step in a new direction, even though you may be conflicted about it. There could be lots of conflict that you're dealing with pre presently in a connection or in a connection that really needs to be released. I'll clarify. It'll all change. You know that. Okay, then we've got um, going forward the chariot. This is perfect. This is victory and moving forward. Um, the chariot card happens to be the card for 2023 because 2023 is a seven year. This is Roman numeral seven. Um, so that feels auspicious to me. But we've got the chariot, victory, forward motion, ten of pentacles in the ace of cups. New love that lasts. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. A new love that lasts. I'm telling you, I saw it in your 2023 spread and the extended. I saw it this morning in the morning musing. So it's all coming through loud and clear for some of you. Of course, everyone's got free will. You've been trying to manifest a reconciliation with something that is truly done. And you've been knocking yourself silly around it. That seven of pentacles, it's, yes, it's patience, but it's like ad nauseum here. You've been wanting to manifest some reconciliation with something that has long since um, died. Okay, so... I'm going to say that I see you trying and being patient and wanting to manifest this, but part of the growth and the change and the transformation can be found in releasing it. If it's meant for you, it will, come, it will stay on your path or it will return to your path. Okay. You did get both someone coming back from the past and someone new. You got both for 2023. So let's look at the Empress and the Fool. And then I'm going to do the fool and the magician. Look at, we've got almost all the queen. Well, we've got the queen of swords and the queen of wands with the page of wands. Yeah, I feel like you, um, I think you came from very high intentions. Trying to remain very clear eyed here. And if this queen of wands is your energy, um, definitely in your power. And yet dealing and I mean, yeah, the fool leaps of faith and taking chances and assessing the risk. 
I feel like the queen of swords in you, that more practical energy, that true seeker, truth teller energy, you know, trying to assess the risk, but that queen of wands wants what she wants when she wants it. Underneath is this page of wands. I kind of feel like there was player energy in the midst. It was just someone wasn't quite as evolved as you, right? Page to the queen. So I'm feeling like you took chances and you tried to assess the risk and um, maybe read, read the signals wrong. Maybe you were fooled. So let's look at the fool and the magician. There's a fool and the magician together can be trickery. I am seeing you as having had the patience of a saint because the first card out is temperance. So as you were assessing the risk in that queen of swords, very practically minded, non-emotional, dispassionate mode, you were very patient, very, um, you know, lots of self-control and restraint, maybe wanting to leap, you know, head first, but you didn't. You kind of assessed the situation, um, really wanting love and romance and partnership here, trying to manifest that. I don't think it happened. I don't think it, I don't think it worked. Despite all your patience, the seven of pentacles, the temperance energy, despite your, you know, practical approach to it, um, you know, there was a, you know, passion is passion. And I kind of feel like you kept something alive that ended probably longer ago than you may care to admit. Death card. Always trying to get it back online, trying to get it back. Um, get the band back together, as they say, but I don't think it happened. Um, I'm not seeing it there, although um, it seems like it was something you were really focused on and that you really, really wanted. So now I'm seeing the Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Fresh Start, Baby Steps, Learning Something New. I'm going to look at the Five of Wands by itself. Because, yes, because I saw it in, um, in another reading of yours that I, you know, the, the morning musing or whatever, but there's like this conflict energy and I kind of feel like you're confused, you're um, overwhelmed, this has been exhausting. I'm feeling this is your energy being conflicted taking yourself right off the radar. The hermit underneath is a solitary journey and it is about self-exploration. It is about introspection. It is about personal growth, um, you know, but in order to do it, you got to kind of remove yourself from a situation that seems like a futile effort, futile effort, exhaustion, confusion, emotional overwhelm, mixed messages, however you, you know, fill in the blank for yourself because this, you know, this is a general read. So it's going to be a little bit different and nuanced for each of you. But I almost feel like you um, romanticized this connection and gave it way more time than you probably ordinarily would have for it to kind of come to pass, for it to be what your vision of it was. And now you're just like, wow. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm confused, I'm just going to opt out. Now we've got the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Let me do a uh, pull a card for the Wheel of Fortune. Hold on. Yeah, so... You got to shift your focus. You're moving in a new direction. So I don't want you to feel defeated. Sometimes with the Page of Pentacles, and I said this to Libra, I swear, if you're dealing with Libra or a Libra in your chart, be sure to watch that reading. I feel like um, the message here with this Page of Pentacles is like, crap, I got to start from scratch. You know, back to the drawing board, starting all over, right? I get that and feeling very defeated about it, especially if you were thinking that this connection you were in was going to be long term. 
And there you are in this stuck energy. And it's almost like I said, the Eight of Swords can be feeling trapped or stuck in a prison of your own making because it's, it's what you've been telling yourself. It's your own perceptions. It's your own thought process. It's your own, yeah, but if, if A, then B. It's all that, you know, paralysis of analysis and overthinking things and self-doubt creeping in and, you know, second-guessing ourselves. And I kind of feel like you're frustrated. I'm seeing some frustration. You thought you were on to something long-term and like almost as if to say, well, yeah, I, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no freaking luck at all is kind of almost what I see you saying to me. And that wheel of fortune is there and here's the eight of pentacles. Well, the wheel is now moving in your favor. Jupiter is now in Aries. There's a lot of passionate energy there, a lot of cardinal startup energy there. It is definitely begin again energy page of pentacles. And what this card is telling you in the eight of pentacles is if you know what you want, come up with creative solutions to your problem um, and also focus on it, look at it in a different way. This is also an apprentice card. So it makes sense with the page of pentacles that if, if you are in fresh start energy in, you know, in terms of relationship, that's the kind of reading I'm doing, that you've got to kind of liberate yourself. You've got to, you know, stop mea culpa, stop thrashing yourself because something that you envisioned one way didn't go the way you thought it would or that you planned. In other words, don't let it beat you. Don't let it beat you. We all get bonus points in the eyes of the divine for trying and for taking risks. And each time we do, we get a little bit better at discerning what risks are worth taking and who they're worth taking them for. Um, so now I'm seeing the chariot, the ten of pentacles again, and the ace of cups. So this is where things get good because this is moving forward. Future energy 2023. Yes. Yeah, take a leap and move forward here. Um, I feel I'm seeing a lot of liberation. Finally, that fool, it's like you're just saying, yep, I'm leaping into my next highest timeline. I'm going to heal. I'm leaving behind what no longer serves me. I'm full steam ahead in 2023. And remember I said the chariot is the card for 2023. So I definitely feel you're getting a message here that healing is yours. If you want it, grab it. Um, you know, you might have to focus on it a little bit and sort through some things, but don't spend a lot of time there. Some reflection is good. Too much keeps you locked in, in the past. And I'm seeing you liberating yourself from all of that. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Hanged man, the star. Yeah. You um, have new love coming on your path. Uh, miracle wish granted. Uh, I've got the Ten of Pentacles with the Hanged Man, which is um, some enlightenment there. The star comes in. It's, you know, your, your hope is revived, restored. The uh, strength card here is about overcoming obstacles. It is another persevering card, but it's different than the Nine of Wands. It isn't so exhausting. It isn't, doesn't leave you feeling so beat up because whoever comes on your path, it's like there's a helpful dynamic between you and it's like just being in their presence sort of lifts you and helps you overcome the obstacles from the past that may get in your way of accepting this beautiful new love and something that may last a lifetime. So... Um, I'm seeing like the hanged man is asking you to surrender to it because once you accept this chariot energy of like, yep, I'm going to take a little time. I'm going to, I'm going to invest a little time in myself to heal. And then I'm cutting loose. I'm getting out of Dodge. I'm liberating myself. I'm not taking any of the old baggage with me. Only what serves me going forward. I'm still on my path. I'm, I'm on a new leg of my journey and I'm going to surrender to it because if I do want something long term, if I want companionship, it doesn't have to be marriage. I mean, you know, it is 2023. So, you know, whatever that means to you, long term, invested, companion, 
um, you know, something that is healing, but also is um, a, a, a dream come true, a wish answered. It helps you overcome all the, the ish of the past. And it comes in the form of this gift from spirit, the love of a lifetime. It's on your path, Scorpio, if you choose to open yourself to it. So let me tell you the astrology. We've got Scorpio in the death card. Um, the magician is out twice. That's Virgo and Gemini. That was also um, pretty prominent in your 2023 extended. The Empress is Taurus and Libra, card of Venus. Queen of Swords is um, Libra. Queen of Wands is um, Aries. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. The pages are always all signs. The Fool is Aquarius. Knight of Cups is Pisces. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. We've got Hermit is Virgo, uh, Page of Pentacles, all the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarian energy, that's card of Jupiter, Chariot is Cancerian energy, the Fool is Aquarius, um, okay, so that was out twice, um, Hanged Man is Pisces, the Star is Aquarius, Strength card is Leo. So that's what I've got. It's a really beautiful reading. Um, if this is resonating for you and you want to take it a little deeper and make it a little more personal, there's a link to the extended below. We'll take a deeper dive together. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.